here with Matthew Sanders, uh, the creator of Trailmaster. Can you tell me just a little bit about this film and how it came to, and how it came to be? Sure. Uh, so it's about um, a guy named Reed Brown, and he is a Oregon Trail, or I guess Oregon State Trail Specialist. And um, he's in charge of all of the trail system in the Tillamook State Forest, which is about 500 miles of trail. Um, I learned about this guy through my friend Sean, who is my riding buddy. And um, so we were riding on the trails one day, and we have communicators, because we're total geeks. Yeah, but, like uh, setters. Right. right. So we're talking to each other, and he's like, hey, I was just out here last week, and I was working on the trails, because he helps you know, just clear trails and stuff. And he said, this guy comes out in his truck, and he's got a motorcycle in the back. It's a state truck with a motorcycle in the back. And his job, and he told me about, he basically met Reed. And his job, you know, lets him drive around in a truck with a motorcycle in the back so he can go on these trails and wow. maintain them. And I said, wow, that's really, you know, that's really interesting. And he, I just, it just kind of stuck in my head. Like, this guy's got a really cool job. <laughs> Sounds like it. You know, I want to get to know him. So I, you know, basically called Reed and talked to him a little bit and, uh, found out that he has much more of a connection to the forest than I even in just that and then that's where I was like well this has got to be a video or a movie or something you know I gotta document this somehow um, so I had the idea for a while and then um, we had some uh, some of our just kind of sponsors that we work with asking us about you know hey do you guys have anything going on is there anything interesting and I told them this one, um, and this was uh, GoPro, one of our sponsors, um, and they were super interested in it because uh, the main reason they said is because this guy is doing it all legitimately. They said most of the guys that want to make videos about trail riding, they're guys that go and are illegally making trails and, and building trails. So yeah. And kind of ruining the environment, too, right. and not taking appreciation for right. it. Yeah. So they were super interested in that, and they helped us out a lot with cameras and gave us a little bit of money to, to make it. Um, and so that really kind of, you know, we spent a couple weeks with Reed yeah. uh, up in the forest watching him build trails and met his dad, who turns out his dad is uh, also a trail builder and, like, one of the guys that built all, a lot of the original trails. Yeah. And then turns out his grandparents were also trail builders, wow. even his grandmother, like, she rode dirt bikes. And so... Really interesting story. His dad built this crazy machine that can build, like, you know, can maintain the trails with just one person, basically. Yeah. Um, so it was just, you know, really fascinating, and, like, it just kept going. Like, I just kept finding out more about these people and, you know, like, how, how their connection is to the forest. And uh, I think one of the more positive things that's happened since we've released this is... You know, I'm getting a lot of feedback and just in the local community of people that are going out to help maintain the trails now. And so Reed has said that, you know, he's gotten a lot of people that recognize him now and, you know, are giving him the thumbs up all the time and just like they know that he's out there. And so he's kind of like a, a local hero now in a way. Yeah. Um, but he's not the only guy doing it. There's other people helping him. Um, he's got another guy, Jamal, um, who is also a trail, kind of the same job, but just mm -hmm. different part of the forest. But, uh, yeah, it's just a really, really interesting thing, and, and I, I'm out there a lot with my kids now, and my wife rides too, so we are out there all the time, you know, and just appreciating the forest, and it's just nice to know that, you know, we were able to help a little bit by making this, so... So it gives such awareness, and I feel Oregon is such a state that's like really honed in on like environmental, and you know I, I believe if I'm wrong, um, correct me, uh, the tr uh, Trans American Trail, the one that's like an all like a back back is there a back trail of like dirt roads that I think is accessible into Oregon as yes. well? Is that something yes. that's I think we connected call it the Backcountry Discovery Route, maybe. Is, is that, that okay? About? I think yeah. I think that's what and it then is. And there's the Pacific Crest Trail too, which is a hiking trail. Yes, that's the hiking. So yeah. there's like these varieties. Yes. Of, of things in the outdoors All that kinds. people want to yeah. do. There is. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's it's the whole, I mean, the whole state is, and that whole northwest region is all, you know, very outdoors trails. And yeah. so it's just good to see that, you know, they're developing a new trail system. And he and Jamal have kind of invented new ways to make trails that make them sustainable mm -hmm. so that, you know, water and erosion and, and um, even logging, which is, this is a, the Tillamook State Forest is a, is a um, agricultural forest in a way because they, they they log it they constantly log it so um, when they build trails you know 20 years later somebody will come and log it and then they destroy all the trails well they figured out 
where to build the trails and how to build them so that when they do get logged, they don't destroy the trails. They can still ride on them and stuff like that. Wow. That's, I'm excited to watch it. Yeah. <laughs> it's I like, like it. What a journey and like such an eye opener and great, you know, great yeah, to get everyone involved. It's just a beautiful place. And uh, we got really lucky with kind of different types of weather conditions when we were there. So there's some nice, beautiful sunny days. And then there are some like socked in with rain and fog days that we were there, which is what I'm used to. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> You know, the weather is almost even, for me, usually every time I go out there, the weather is almost always like mist. And it's like you're riding through, you know, like this enchanted forest. It just feels like you're riding through like some sort of world that is just, you know, yeah. right out of a storybook. Yeah. Definitely. I used to live on the West Coast, so okay, yeah, so that you know. that boreal forest and that that enchantment is is so real. Yeah. And it's um, it's just so nice that people are getting together to like, can, like maintain that mm -hmm. and keep that special like that magic alive. So, right. Well, I'm really really excited to watch it. Right. And thank you for your time. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah.